Hello. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, teacher. We are ready to start today a new ready, lesson, sir. a new topic. Welcome back to all of you. Okay, I'm waiting for the rest of the student. And I want to be sure you, all of you uh, have the, the material with you. Remember that this, it is really important that you have it. In that way, you are going to have the, the opportunity to participate and to see what we are studying. Hello, Rafael Ernesto. How are you today, Rafael? Everything good, teacher. Okay, I can I can hear you. I don't know why. Let me see. My, I'm going to adjust my volume. Okay, I got it. Hello, Angel Narciso Cardona. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, teacher? Good evening, sir. Fine. And you? Very good, teacher. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I like that.
What about Christina Stephanie? Can you hear me very well, Christina? Yes, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Raquel Judith, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Bye. Okay. Norma Carolina, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Hello, teacher. Karina, welcome back. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Everything fine? Yes. Okay. Marlene, Nicole. Hello, good evening. How, How are, are you? you? I'm okay. Um, and you? Me too. Everything okay. Okay. Thanks. Nancy, welcome back. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine. Okay. Uh, Marlene? Hello, Marlene. Yes. Hello. How are you today? Again, teacher. <laughs> Everything okay. <laughs> hey, Linda. What about you, Linda? Hello, Linda, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good I'm evening. fine. Okay. How was your day? Uh, yeah, really good. Okay. Relax, relax. Yes. <laughs> okay, I like that. Okay, let me see, Ana Cristina. Hello, Ana Cristina. Cristina. Mm, right now, yes. But at the beginning, was difficult for me to hear you. Yes, yeah, maybe the connection. It is the connection. Yes. Okay. A lot of cell phone connected, maybe. Okay, Joanne Alexander. Hello, sir. Present, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm pretty good. Thanks. Right. I got 11. I got 11. I need to wait for the rest. Okay, uh, before to start, I would like to know if all of you have the material with you. Antes de iniciar, me quiero asegurar de que todos hayan descargado el material. Do you have it? Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me check up the list. Maybe the rest of people are going to arrive later. Ana Cristina Chavarria. Yes, teacher. 
Yes, I did, sir. Anna del Carmen. Anna del Carmen. Anna del Carmen. Eh, Ángel Narciso. Present teacher. Ok, Cristina Stephanie Martínez. Present teacher. Fátima del Carmen Portillo. Aquí. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Ok, uh, Harrison Manuel Hernández. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Welcome, sir. Karen Yesenia Castillo Martínez. Karen Yesenia. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda Iber. Present teacher. María Julia. María Julia. Marlene Nico. Present. Welcome. Nancy Iber. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Eh, Raquel Judith. Present teacher. En Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present teacher. Okay, welcome back. Teacher, good night. Fatima. Fatima El Carmen? Yes, present. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más que acaba de entrar, por favor, me avisa. Teacher. What's your name? Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen Mejía. Okay. Yes. Somebody else? Harrison? Eh, Karen Yesenia? Maria Julia? Not here? Okay, before the start today, uh, let us make a review about the last topic that we started uh, yesterday. Somebody wants to give me some example about the topic that we started yesterday, please. What do you remember about what we started yesterday? Share with us. We use we study the use of can can. Okay, okay, excellent. I need some example. Somebody else could help. The example is I can drive and I can't swim. Okay, abilities. Somebody else? I can ride the bicycle. Okay, what else? Okay, and in other words, we were talking about abilities, right? Today, we are going to start the class. Um, number two, how to use could be and could be. And in order to start, we have two questions here. And uh, I need a volunteer who wants to read the question number one, please. Who wants to read it? Me. Okay, tell me. 
Um, can you name three ways you contribute contribute to the company's mission? Ah, okay. Question number one. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Three different ways how you can contribute to the company's mission. Think and tell me and share with us. Three different ways. Okay, write your hand if you want to, to say something. Just let me know. Ana Cristina, Fatima, Giovanni, eh, Suleima, Marlen, Juan Carlos. Uh, please, I need that you put your cameras on. It's part of our roles. Okay, I'm waiting for the answer. Just tell me. Hello. Remember that your participation is really, really important. And you need to look for the way how to share ideas. If you want to tell me three ways, you can tell me just two ways how you can contribute to your company's mission. Just tell me. Maybe one could be that we have to be responsible with our activities. Okay, to be responsible is really important. Somebody else, please. Hello. Remember the question. And we are talking just about uh, the first question, because we had two. We had two questions. And we are talking now about the first one. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? And the second one said, what a specific benefit do you provide to your company? We are talking about benefits. Do you provide to your company? You need to think about this question. Okay, I want to hear you. Hello. I need that you think and tell me. Think and tell me what. Hello. Hello. Offer, offer the best products to customers, teacher. Mm, okay. What else? Remember the question. Remember the question that you have. In the third one, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Tres maneras de cómo usted contribuye a la misión de su empresa. Tell me. And the second one, what specific benefit do you provide to your company?
Hello. Tell me, please. I already told you in Spanish what is the meaning of the question. It's a simple question, but you can give me an answer. Como satisfacer las expectativas que el cliente tiene de nuestro servicio. Uh, satisfy the expectations of uh, clients of our product. Okay. What else? Yeah. What else? Uh, me, teacher. Tell me, Angel. Uh, from response to meet customers in needs. Okay. I provide uh, you with the financial information. Provide? Uh, the financial information. The right financial information. Okay. Okay, what else? Uh, for example, meat, meat product delivered date. Ah, we we are going to respect the the two day to deliver product, okay? And that way you are contributing to your mission company, okay? Excellent. What else? Somebody else, please. We also contribute um, that the company get more orders. The company get more orders. And for example, in the company where I work, um, they produce garments. So we help. We contribute to that the company get more get more orders if we bring good service to the to the customer ah, okay i got it i got it excellent thank you very much and the last person who wants to talk about this yes tell me yeah. raise your hand And that company Tell me Nancy. Hello teacher. Tell me. Me escucha. <laughs> okay, that company for example is always be nice to associate associate and provide solution. Okay. Excellent. Yes. As you can see, you have uh, good ideas. The problem is that sometimes uh, you don't want to participate, but you have bright ideas and you need to share it with me. Okay, let us continue then. Okay, in order to continue, we are going to read the conversation that we have in the exercise number two. Listen to your teacher, read the conversation, and then practice with a partner. We have a conversation between Andre and Kurt, and said in this way, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this could be a great opportunity. 
I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Okay, let us read it again. We are going to read it again. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can uh, say this could be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in a large project. Okay, uh, I guess that you need to repeat this word, comfortable, comfortable. Repeat it, please, comfortable. 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 Yeah, comfortable. Horrible. Okay, I need to volunteer who wants to read it. And later on, we are going to work in a breakout room and you are going to practice. Let us do now, please. Volunteer, where are you? Me. Okay. Yeah. And, so, and somebody else, please. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. I start. Okay. Uh, care. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employer? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. Does it? Thank you. What about the last part? Okay. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Large projects, okay. Manager. Oh, somebody else, somebody else, manager, 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 large, 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 large projects. projects. Large project. Remember, it's plural projects. Project. Yes. Oh, okay, somebody else want to do it now, please? Me. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, do it. But we need somebody else that help you. Hey, teacher. Okay, Giovanni, do it. Sir, uh, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales areas? Area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? Employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my of my experience in the in the construction industry. It's so great. 
Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Okay. Any question? Question about a word or something like that? What is the meaning of as? Was it where? I will be a great asset in the company. I don't know what is the meaning of asset. 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 Yeah. Um, do you remember uh, we started the work in a module, module number four, I guess. Uh, it is like a gran activo in la compañía. Okay. Yeah could be in that way because remember that the word could have a lot of meaning. Como quien dice, yo podría ser de gran valor en la compañía también. Deme otro sinónimo en Spanish. Aportar. Eficiente. <laughs> Related with the content. Yo sería, ¿sí? Yo sería de, de, gran, de gran ayuda. De gran ayuda, de gran ventaja. Un gran de, elemento. De gran valor. Eh, tantas palabras que tenemos en español. We have a lot of swear in Spanish. Okay, I'm going to read again in order that you can uh, practice in a breakout room and later on you are going to practice from the class here. How comfortable do you feel working in this sales area? Listen this word, area. 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 Okay, pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this could be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would, I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Okay. Question? No, teacher. No question? No question. Area, area, area. Area, area. No E. No e area 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 it's not a also it's but it's not e area try to pronounce it area 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 okay you need to sharp area. your 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 ear in order to pronounce to pronounce okay if you don't have the material make a screenshot please because we are going to start practicing with somebody else in the breakout room. Let me see, we have 15. We need one more in order that we can start doing this. Remember that uh, intonation is really important at the moment that you are practicing a conversation and try to do it naturally. Don't worry about mistakes because at the end, they are going to help you to improve your skills. But when I ask you to participate, don't hesitate, do it. That way you are going to uh, improve your skills. Okay, uh, let me see how many people do we have here. Seven could be 14. Okay. And one is going to be with three. 
time is create the breakout room. I'm going to give you three minutes in order that you can do it. And later on, we are going to practice. Okay, uh, Anna, Angel, and Sulaima are together. Try to practice. I hope that the time uh, be enough for all of you in order that you can practice it. Let us do it now, please. Angel, you can stay there if you want. Uh, we can uh, we can practice. Hello, Angel. Marlene Nicole. Marlene Nicole. que suba la presentación eh, ahí está habilitado en el en el campus ahí en, en claro ahí suba la por favor sí el sábado pasa manda el link y va a ser la primera que va a pasar aquí a su whatsapp le enviamos este la nómina de nosotros los integrantes verdad sí. los integrantes Entonces, Vaya, vamos a estar pendiente, ¿verdad? Sí. De, de, de Linda primero. Vaya, para hacer un and let us do it now, please. I need that you practice. Okay, I'm waiting volunteer who wants to do it. Raise your hand if you want to practice. Nancy. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> empiezo. Okay, no okay. problem. Okay. <laughs> Dice, Kier, how comfortable do you feel working in the silence area? Um, very comfortable. Sure, Miss, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I'm sure about that. Look, can you read to this company as employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in Lake Bryant. Hey, Thank you, okay. teacher. You're welcome. And uh, remember, at the moment that your classmates are practicing the conversation, you can also uh, layer some words that maybe you are saying in a different way. For that reason, I invite you to have a pencil and your notebook, and you can write down the pronunciation of all those words that you consider difficult for you. 
Okay, so Maria, I'll place. Somebody else, please. I'm waiting. Juan Carlos, your mic. Juan Carlos. Okay. Uh, Kier, how com comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Norma, are you ready? Yes, Giovanni. Okay. Uh, here, how comfortable do you feel working in the cell area? Really comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say there will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I will be of great help in large projects. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Um, Ali Ido Angel. Okay, Sulema. Okay. Kir, how comfortable do you feel working in the state area? Very, very comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds right. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great helping large project. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Somebody else? Do it, Karina. Karina. Okay. With okay. Raquel. Yes. Yes. Uh, Ra Raquel, then this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Garrett, how comfortable do you feel working in the cell area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Thanks. Hey, excellent. Somebody else? Right here, you can see the, the symbol in the way that we can pronounce this word. I know maybe for some of you, it's going to be kind of difficult to understand it the way, but this is uh, kind of uh, I, IPA in the way that we can pronounce this word, comfortable.
Somebody want to say something about this? No? Okay, I'm going to read the last time. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in this sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this could be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I could be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great, yes. And because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in a large project. Okay, any question? Teacher. Hello. Is, is manager or is manager? As a manager. 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 Okay. Manager. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Remember that at the moment that you are reading, uh, you need to articulate uh, different sounds that we don't have in Spanish in order that the work in sounds uh, better in English, you know? Because uh, sometimes, uh, well, all depend on the area that the people are coming from, even in the United States, sometimes they have a different way how to pronounce words. But in this case, the most common pronunciation is manager. Okay, another question? No? No question? Okay, let us continue with the next activity. Okay, uh, we are going to work in these two questions that we have. It's a pair work. You are going to discuss and answer the two questions below. The number one said, what would be some benefits of having Kerr in the company. You need to think about this. And the second one said, do you consider that experience is important and why? You are going to discuss these two questions. If you want, you can make on a screenshot because we are going to work in a breakout room. And as soon as you finish, you are going to answer it. Okay, here we go. You are going to have three minutes. I'm going to recreate uh, the groups and answer both questions, please. Do it now. Teacher, me salí de la conexión y no sé con quién iba. Oh, really? 
Yes. Okay, okay, don't worry about it. Uh, you, you have the questions there. You can share with me uh, the answer if you have any. If you have uh, no. the answers, just share it with me. No problem. Uh, mm, I think no. What about the number one? I'm going to share it. Mm. You have it there. What would be some benefit of having care in the company? The second one, do you consider that experience is important and why? You can give me an answer based on the, the conversation that we have started. Mm. I think the experience has, is very important because uh, Oh, I mm -hmm. Is it more beneficial for the empresa uh, For the company? For the company. And is more easy uh, work? It's easier to work. It's easy to work. Uh -huh. um, um, in the moment for the real, real, real life, uh, the work is in, in menos tiempo. Uh, in less time. Less time. Uh -huh. Only that. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Let me see who wants to answer the question number you, one. You teach. Who wants to answer question number one? Mm. Volunteers who want to answer it. My answer is a uh, cared will be a great asset in the company. The reason? Because his experience is in the constru construction industry. No. Okay. What else do you consider? Somebody else want to say something about this? Okay, I need that you think, think. Question one, we are talking about question one. Okay, somebody else want to say something about this? Mm, también, uh, bueno, two. Uh, Kier could be of great help in large projects. Ah, that, that could be beneficial for the company, right? Yes. And what about the second question? Who wants to give me an, an answer? Uh, Talking about experience. What do you uh, think about uh, yes. this? Yes. 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 Uh, we are more uh, effective, effective, less mistake. Uh, we save, we save time. Ah, save time. Okay. And. Yes, because the employees is better or is easier for the development of work. Okay. How do you how do you pronounce development? Development. De development. Development. Okay. The achievement of the walls. 
Okay. And do you remember the first time that you uh, that you were uh, trying to get a job and you went to an interview and the person in charge asked you about experience? Do you remember? Yes or not? Do you remember the first time that you went to an interview to get a, your first job and suddenly the person asked you for experience and you say, no, this is my first job. I don't have any. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes, yeah, it's really hard. No? Always I remember. Yeah, you keep in mind. But yeah. uh, did you get the job or not? Pero le dieron el trabajo, no se lo dieron. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. And what about experience? They didn't ask you about experience? Ellos le preguntaron algo acerca de la experiencia en el puesto o no? Um, the first job, no, because uh, we need, need it. Me. Um, they, they need you. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then when the second job, yes. Okay. Okay, try to remember the first time that you arrived to a different place and look for an interview and they ask you for experience. Okay, let me check up the attendance now. Okay, let me see. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. It's not here. Ah, uh -huh. ah, uh -huh. <laughs> Angel Narciso, no, Angel, present teacher, okay, watching the football match, uh -huh. okay. <laughs> the soccer match is different. Okay, Chris, Christina, Stephanie. Present teacher. Teacher. Oh, oh tell teacher. me. I have a problem with my internet. Okay. Is a... okay, okay, okay. Don't worry. Fatima del Carmen. Present. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Harrison Manuel Hernandez. Harrison. Harrison. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karen Yesenia Castillo. Karen Yesenia. It's not here. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda Ivette. Present, teacher. Maria Julia. Maria Julia. Hello, Maria Julia. Marlene Nicole. Present. Uh, Nancy Yvette. Norma Carolina. Present, teacher. 
Rafael Ernesto Hernández. Rafael, are you there, Rafael? Raquel Judith. Present teacher. And Suleima Veronica. Suleima. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher, no me mencionó. Jesus, let me see again. Poco. Your name is? Ana del Carmen. Ana del Carmen. I didn't mention your name. No, no me mencionó. I'm Después sorry. de Ana Cristina, le dijo Ángel. Ah, ok. I'm sorry. I got it here. Ok. Oh, okay, let us continue talking about the question, the two questions that we have. Somebody else want to say something about this question? Hello. Hello. Teacher Anansi tampoco la mencionó, le está diciendo, pero quizás no le escucha. Teacher, no me ven. Anansi. Let me see. Nancy, you there? Mm -hmm. Really? No, no me mentioned. Jesus. My goodness, what is happening here? No, <laughs> bueno, no, no. present. Okay, don't worry about it. Next time I'm going to do it in a, in a different way in order to be sure that all of you are here. Yeah. Right now only just have, let me see, one, two, three. Three people that are options for today. Maybe they have a problem and that is the reason why they are not here with us. Okay, let us continue working uh, and talking about the reason why you consider that you are important for your company. And at the same time, we were talking about experience. Uh, imagine that you are the key manager of your company and that you need to look for somebody who work in your office, um, creating reports and what else? Writing check and something like that. If you are looking for somebody uh, with this characteristic, how you can uh, put an ad in order that people can go there? Imagine maybe in the, the social network, you are going to put an ad uh, in order that people can know that you need uh, to have uh, somebody else in your office. And the date of the interview, you got more than 10. And how you are going to do in order to classify the best one based on, on what you are going to do it. Tell me. Tell me. Teacher, I think that it will depend on the area that you need. Yeah, but in this case, I'm saying that you need uh, somebody in your office uh, in order that write reports and at the same time that got control of the, the checkbook, he is going to write down check for the employees. And you at the moment got 10 people in your office making online. And you are going to make an interview to everyone, but 
what you are going to consider in order to look for the best? The first one will be the academic degree. Could be the academic degree, but what and else? In the experience. Ah, if, that is the key they word. Have experience. The experience that they have, okay. That is really, really, really yeah. important. Okay, totally agree. Well, suddenly uh, imagine that uh, among all the people uh, you have, uh, some of them that they have a good title related with the position, but maybe they, they don't have the experience because remember that uh, in university, we don't know exactly everything about job. We need to learn something else. As the moment that we arrive in a job, we need to learn something else that we never, uh, they never touch uh, in the university. And I also agree that um, all company uh, don't have to, to ask for experience because when we finish our career, we don't have experience and we want to start to work. Yes. But most of the company has our experience. Yeah. yeah. When, when do you not experience? Excuse me? It's, it's a problem when do you don't have experience. Yeah, sometimes yeah, it's, it's yeah. a problem, but sometimes companies, uh, they prefer uh, somebody with no experience because they can teach them. That all depends on the position, as you said. Okay, let us continue talking about this topic. Uh, let me see what else we want to study here. Okay, we already talked about the importance of experience. And also, uh, right here, we need to study the use of how, how we are going to use good B and good B. It's very simple. In these two words, we are not going to complicate it. Uh, we are going to use good B and could be when you want to give the impression of possibility in the future. For example, I could say, I could be a great assets or I could be of great help in the sales department. How um, I would like you to think in another example using good be and could be. And you need to know exactly how you are going to use good be. In this case, uh, if you want, if you can, you can tell me in Spanish how you understand these two words. I could be a great asset. What is that? Sería. Sería. Ah, okay. Yo sería un buen. Prospecto. Prospecto. Ah, ok. Y el otro es podría ser. Yo podría ser. Ajá, ok. Now that you understand these two terms, I would like you, you give me some examples. Imagine that uh, in your company, your manager uh, is going to retire this week. And all the employees need to uh, choose somebody else. And you have the opportunity, if you want to apply for the position, you have the opportunity to, to promote yourself. How you can explain the rest of employees that you 
uh, could be a good prospect for the company. ¿Cómo le explicaría usted a sus compañeros para que lo elijan? Si es que se hiciese por votación usando could be o could be. Like the po politic, you know, así como los políticos cuando ellos andan en campaña. Would be. Que ellos usan esos términos. Mm. Okay, tell me. For example, I would be um, a, a, a great leadership. Ah, I could be a great leader in this company. Uh -huh. I could be. Mm -hmm. mm. Could be. Help in the. In the warehouse department, could be an example. Okay, could be in that way, somebody else. Hello. Imagine that you need to be. Uh, I mean, you are in a company and you are going to explain the reason why they uh, they need your service. And you are going to say, okay, if you give me the opportunity, I could be, uh -huh, you start saying, I could be, but I need uh, that you think about this term. Okay, I'm going to give you some hints. Okay. Me teacher. Oh, okay, T tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell Maybe me. I I will be a good saleswoman. I could be a saleswoman, okay. And I could be help in Christ sales. Ah, you could be a, a good seller in order to increase. Increase. Yeah. Mm -hmm the income of the company. Yeah. Like that. Okay, I like that. Somebody else, please. Muchas manos veo diciéndome a mí, I want to say something. Uh, teacher. Um, Funny. I, I could be a defender of labor right. Ah, uh -huh. okay, I like that, I like that. What else? Los tengo pensando, los tengo pensando. But tell me. Me, teacher. Tell me. For example, I could be help you help you um, with the problem, the community. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay, let us do the exercise number five and later on we can uh, have a clear idea of what we are talking about it, okay? Okay, we are going to work in this exercise number five, scramble the words to four sentences. Don't worry, you are going to take your time now to do this. The number one say great study could be brought it opportunity to a uh, don't worry, you are going to take your time to do it. Our beneficial employees could be a training for less hour, another working could be benefits. 
option staff would be a weekend off to a uh, hey, good happy. And the last one, great of inventory. The department could be Maria helping. Okay, you are going to uh, scramble the words to four sentences. Let us do it now, please. I'm going to give you some minutes in order to do this. And later on, we are going to compare each other. Let us work on it now, please. I got only a 14, I don't know what is happening. I heard that a lady is having problems with uh, her connection. Remember that it is really important that you be connected. At the end of the module, all the minutes that you stay connected count for you. So please try to do it.
As soon as you finish, just let me know, please. Remember that you need to be really careful because you need to identify the first word that you are going to put at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, we are going to wait for the rest. How do you feel the exercise? Difficult?
finish the chair. Okay. Only two. What about the rest? Difficult? A little bit? A little bit. <laughs> Some <better. laughs> The most difficult for me is the number two. What's the number two? Number one? Number two. Number two? Really? Yeah. Oh, I remember in these cases, uh, what you need to do is just to keep in mind how a sentence starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, based on that, you can look for the best word to put at the beginning. You need to keep in mind the part of the sentence, and that way you are going to yeah, put it not in order. Okay, Giovanni, did you finish? Eh, so so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Angel? Not yet? Mr. Cardona? Not yet? In the event, do you yet, finish? Not yet, teacher. Not yet, teacher. Yes, teacher, I finished. Okay. Ana Cristina? Suleyma mm. is working. I, I can see that you are working now. Yes. Um, difficult in number three and five. Three and five. Yes. Uh -huh. Voy a esperar como la respuesta para ver. <laughs> okay. Voy a copiar. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to give you the opportunity to compare with somebody else. And then we are going to share the answer. Okay, uh, now you are going to compare with somebody else. And later on, we are going to check it. Two minutes, I guess, is enough. In order, you can compare it. Okay, here we go. Try to compare with somebody out there. Let us do it now, please. Nancy, Nancy, Fatima is waiting for you.
Okay, here we go. Teacher, muy poquito tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> no pudimos copiar. Ah, uh, really? Yes. <laughs> Estamos comparando. <laughs> okay. Who wants to read the number one? Me teacher. A ver, a ver, Wait, tell me. A ver, ¿qué tal? Uh, it would be a great opportunity to study abroad. Bingo. Bingo. Okay, yeah. Bingo when you win. Okay, uh, as I explained you, uh, in order to put in order all the words, you need to look for the, for the first word that you need to put at the beginning. In this case, uh, it's a personal pronoun, that is it, and then we are going to use could be, and so on. Generalmente siempre vamos a buscar... always, always use uh, the, the pronouns at uh, the, the beginning. What we are looking for is for a subject. Generalmente uh, lo, que subject. Vamos, mm -hmm. lo que vamos buscando cuál es el sujeto de la oración. Porque recuérdense uh -huh. que las oraciones están compuestas de sujeto y predicado para hablarlo de forma así general. Subject and predicate. Okay, what about the second one? Or employee. Okay. Or employee. You will be beneficial for you. Repeat again, please. Uh, or employee will be beneficial for a training. Mm hmm. Remember, we need to look for the subject. What is the subject of this sentence? Not all the time is going to be, for example, the personal oh. pronoun. Or employer will be beneficial for a training. Mm. Close, close. Okay, somebody the else. Want to help her? Could be a training could be beneficial for our employees. Bingo. A training is the subject. A training could be beneficial for our employees. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, number three, please. Teacher, sorry, repeat number two. Number two? See? Si. Please. A, a training could be beneficial okay. for our employees. I'm going to show you later. Ah, okay. At, at the Thank end, I'm going, I'm going to show you the answers. And number three, please. Another benefit will be working less hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hot, hot, caliente, caliente. Somebody else? Somebody else, please. Somebody else with a different answer? Uh, working less hours could be could be another benefit. Bingo. Working less hours could be another benefit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number four. Uh, staff would be good ha happy to have option a uh, weekend off. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Another options? 
uh, have weekends off would be a good option to, to staff? No. And, yeah, 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 yeah. You are doing well, but, but you miss on words. Happy. Um, Just that. No, 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 no. Okay, no. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The lady was doing well, uh, but suddenly at the end is missing some work. Okay, say it now. Read it, read it, read it. Um, how how weekends off would be a good option to happy stuff? Mm. No, there is something at, at the beginning. There is something at the beginning. The previous one start in the right way. It's tough at the beginning. No. No. Quien leyó antes de usted. Eh, dijo la mitad o más de la mitad bien. The previous one, read it again, please. Hello. Have weekends off would be a good option to happy staff. Mm. It's missing something. Oh. It's missing something. Hay algo que no hace, hace falta. Weekends off. Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read that way. Weekend off. Weekends off would be a good option to have a happy staff. To have a happy employee's staff. Okay. And the last one? Number five. Um, Maria. Could Maria. Be of great help in the inventory department. Ah, okay, Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Okay, excellent. And now I'm going to show you the answer. Ahora sí les muestro las respuestas. Al inicio no, porque you know. Okay, you have it here. Who wants to read the number one? ¿Quién quiere leer la uno? Only one, please. I will be a great opportunity opportunity to study abroad. Okay, it will be a great opportunity to study abroad. Number two. Number two, please. High training could be beneficial for our employees. The training could be beneficial for our employees. Okay, number three. Number three. Working in schools will be another benefit. Working less hours could be another benefit. Okay, number four. Number four, please. Weekends off will be a good option to have happy employees and stuff. Okay, and the last one? It's a mistake in the employees. Means that employees, yes. the word. The word employees. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't need to have the, the word employees, right? It, it is a staff, the right one. A happy staff. Is that right? 
Yeah. yeah, because we don't have the employee. The staff is the same. You are right. And, and the last one, number five, said Maria could be of great help in the inventory department. Okay, thank you. From one to five, how many uh, do you have in the right way? De la uno a la cinco, ¿cuántas le salieron buenas? Sales evaluation. Evaluación. Auto evaluación. Three or five. Two, two point of, of each. Dos puntos para cada una. Three or five. Three or five? Yes. Okay. That means that you got six. In the last part, we have 15 minutes to do this. Well, I got the answer here. Okay, let us practice. What I need is that you are going to, let me close this. Okay, you are going to prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits you could bring to a new company if you have the opportunity to work on it. In order to do this, you are going to work in trios. And uh, if you want, you can write in down something. Somebody of you of the trios is going to write down and you can share what you are going to write down, okay? And remember, you are going to talk about benefits you could bring to a new company if you have the opportunity to work on it. Okay, let me create the trios. Let me see if it is possible. Jesus, it's gonna be hard because, let me see if I got four, it's 12, I got five, and one is going to be, I'm going to recreate again. Let me see. Okay. And the room five is going to be Angel and Christina. Stephanie, I'm going to give you three minutes the first time, the first round. Don't worry because you are going to have more time later on in order that you can do it in the best way. Okay. But before to go to your breakout room, I need to know exactly if you understand what we are going to do. Tell me, uh, Juan Carlos, what we are going to do. Juan Carlos. Yeah, me teacher. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, give me a feedback about the interaction. What, what you are going to do? ¿Qué es lo que van a hacer? Um, presentation in uh, uh, ¿Qué aportaría en una nueva empresa o una empresa que está comenzando? This is like a conversation uh, in which you are going to tell us what you are going to to give in order to support the company, okay? Okay, let us try to do it now, please.
Okay, I don't know if you have any idea. Your time. <laughs> Your time. <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm going to give you the second round. Only just this one, okay? Let us do it again. But at the end, I want that you participate. Okay, welcome back. Let me see who wants to share the information. Volunteers, please. Voluntarios. Me, teacher. Okay. Um, I have um, I could be increase increase the sales. I could be to get the new customer, and I will be better the customer service. 
Nice. Somebody else, please. Somebody else? Hello, we are close to finish, but I need you participate. Let us do it now, please. Yeah. Okay, this is my name is Nancy Duar. will be a proactive, efficient, and responsibly. Uh, I am the one because I have experience and I know the difficulty of the joy. Okay. Somebody else? Hey, me, teacher. Okay, Giovanni, tell me, Giovanni. Uh, I am a proactive person who meets the goal and no lead, no lead in project management. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we are close to finish this session. Try to keep in mind for tomorrow, you are going to start talking about this. Let me check out the attendance before. I know that it's late now. Let me see the attendance here. Hold on a second, please. Okay, Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Present. Okay, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you, Angel. Present teacher. Cristina. Cristina. Present. Present. Fatima. Present. Giovanni. Present. Harrison. Uh, Harrison. Juan Carlos. Present. Karen Yesenia. Karina. Present. Linda. Present teacher. Maria Julia. No, here, Marlin. Present. Nancy. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Uh, Rafael. Raquel. Present teacher. And Suleyma. Present teacher. Okay, we miss only just one part in the book that is the sales evaluations. Um, you can do it later on in your houses. This is this part, the sales assessment. Now I can talk about benefit I could or could bring to the company, how you can do it. 
independently with occasional help or only with help. You can decide. And before you go, let me see who is the person that is going to stay at the end with me because I need to talk with. Who is it? I told you the last class yesterday, I told you. Hello, who is it? A quien le corresponde hoy? A Nancy Yvette Tobar Rivera. Are you there, Nancy? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Good, no good night. Good night. I hope that you, good night. That you good can night. rest. See you I tomorrow. I hope to see tomorrow. you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. Hello, teacher. I can see you, I can see you. Hello, teacher. Yeah, are you having problem with your camera or something like that? Ah, no, 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 you are there. Maybe it's because it's yeah. your, your connection. You are having problem teacher. with your connections, I guess. Sí, okay. es, es el terra. No sé por qué está. Maybe, maybe um, the area where you are living. Maybe it could be the, the area donde usted vive quizás es difícil. Or maybe the company, I don't know. But... Sí, es que hay una planta eléctrica cerca. Entonces eso hace que a veces falle también la... La energía, al igual que el internet. Ah, oh, really? Yes. Oh. Caes. Ah, <laughs> caes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you have any question about the topic that we already have a uh, study. Um, teacher, bueno, como vamos empezando, eh, vamos empezando el, el módulo, ¿verdad? Pero yes. ayer usted explicaba el qué, el... Can, can, and can't, y en modo de pregunta también, en the question, vea. Entonces, pero yo tengo una pregunta, en este caso, las estructuras, bueno, la estructura de I can siempre va a ser al inicio, o sea, de las oraciones, o se puede interponer en ella. No sé si. Mm, I, got, I, I got your question. Well, uh, according to the order, the acuerdo al orden and the structure in English, before we need to put a, a subject, primero necesitamos poner un sujeto o un pronombre personal. Okay. And then we are going to add can or can't. And then we are going to add the verb. For example, I can say, I can speak English. I can, yo puedo. I can Hablar speak here. English. But okay. I can't speak uh, Chinese, for example. No puedo Yeah, and Chinese. you are talking about abilities. Chinese. Chinese. Okay. Yeah, Chinese. Okay. Y, y lo mismo sería para cuando es en negativo también. Yes. It is the same. The difference is that you are going to use uh, not or an apostrophe T. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Y con las, con las de ahora que estábamos viendo que era la, la, ¿cómo se llama? I could be y I will be. Yeah, could be and could be. Para, para, ajá, porque yo entendí que, por ejemplo, could be es yo sería o, o yo podría ser. Ajá, uh -huh. the last one. Yes. Could be, podría. Could be. And, and would be? Mm -hmm. Sería. I could be, podría. Yes. Y I would be, sería, sería. Yes. 
que en esa, en esa me confundí un poco. But also you got some example in the sentences that you were uh, putting in order. En las oraciones mm -hmm. que estuvieron poniendo en orden, ahí hay algunos ejemplos. Mm -hmm. Y por eh, eso que me costa un poco. I'm going to show you, let me see. Let me share the screen with you. Le voy a compartir pantalla para que veamos esos ejemplos okay. de lo que estoy hablando. Que solo se los mostré en el libro. I got it here. Okay, um, let me see if I can highlight it. Okay. Not that you can, uh, for example, right here. Training. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, could be beneficial. For our employees. Yes. And right here in the third one, we have could be a great opportunity. To study abroad. And also number three, uh, you have it here, could be working less hour, could be another benefit. And also you have it here, we can off. Good be a good option. And the last one said Mary could be. Yeah, Maria. you got examples. Maria Puria. Yeah. Could be of great sure. help in the invention. Okay. I don't know if you understand yeah. now. Because uh, okay. what I want is that you have a clear idea of what we are talking about. Lo que es importante que le quede bien clara la idea. Uh -huh. Sí, normal, normalmente siempre. Ah, por ejemplo, working less hours. O sea, no es, no es simplemente que vaya a ir un pronombre, ¿verdad? sino que puede ir también parte como de una. Puede ir como en medio de una oración, vea. Ese working se convierte en nombre. Trabajar menos. Menos horas. Podría, podría tener beneficio. Ah, ah ya le entendí. <risa> sí, es que ahí, ahí estaba un poquito confundido. Working as well. Yes. Yes. For example, a training. Sí. Training también se convierte en sujeto. Es un sujeto. Una, una, capa, una capacitación podría ser beneficiosa para nuestros empleados. Training. Dicho, beneficial, ahí, ahí sí me cuesta. Benefit es benefit. una cosa. Yeah, pero benefit. Ben beneficial. Benefic ah, beneficial. 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 Or, for benefit, yes. Beneficial. Ok. La verdad no, no tengo muchas preguntas, Ticha, quizás porque vamos empezando el módulo también. Ok. ¿Verdad? Y soy la segunda. Pero yes. con, lo que hemos estado, con lo que hemos estado viendo ahorita, sí, con esto sí, sí me había confundido con el could be, el will be. Porque por esto mismo, ¿verdad? porque no entendía si el sujeto iba a ser directamente el pronombre o, o podría ser... Por ejemplo, aquí es la capacitación, vea. Sí. Puede ser como una acción también, vea. En este caso, la uh -huh. palabra training se convierte en el sujeto. Uh -huh. Sí. Por okay. eso hay que tener bien claro qué es el sujeto y qué es predicado para uh -huh. poder eh, ordenar eso. Ya no, luego, no sé. en, en otro nivel, ya se ve lo que se llama parsos speech. Y ahí sí ya vemos desglosado cada uno de ellos, qué es su sujeto, qué es el artículo, qué es, por ejemplo, pronombre, adverbio, adjetivo, pero eso es ya en advanced levels. Ahorita vamos así. En el módulo intermedio, ¿verdad? Maybe it could be in the intermediate or in advanced levels. Ok. Pero recuerde que la participación es muy, pero muy importante. Y quitarse, eh, quitarse el temor de hablar, de que va a cometer errores, porque el objetivo es precisamente ese, eh, 
Y hoy, no sé si se ha fijado, pero yo trato de, de darle la oportunidad a todos por igual. Para que así, y la otra cosa es que si no se ha dado cuenta también, me gusta ponerlos a pensar para que de esa forma eh, vayan revolucionando esa, esa, esa mente y sea espontánea la respuesta. Sí, sí, lo he notado. Lo que pasa es que a veces, bueno, como hoy todas las indicaciones son en inglés también, ¿verdad? entonces eso lo pone a pensar a uno también. Yes. A analizar un poquito también. Sí, for the okay. reason, I recommend you to have a dictionary in your cell phone and that way you can look for the words to understand better. Un dictionary in your cell phone. Que tenga un diccionario en su teléfono o si no puede en papel y eso le ayuda mm -hmm. a, a comprender algunas palabras más rapidito. Ah, ok. okay. No, no lo he descargado, pero sí lo voy a descargar. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much to thank be you, with teacher. me. Okay, good night. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. And thank don't forget you. if you have any question in And... the in, in the next session, uh, si si en las próximas sesiones tiene alguna pregunta eh, y el, el hecho que no le corresponda el uno a uno, pues usted puede hacer la pregunta al final y yo con gusto le respondo. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good night. Bye, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Okay, thank good you. Night. Bye bye.